Hello everyone. Here we will solve the knapsack problem by using the brute force approach. Uh, assume the person is going for shopping with a big shopper. He or she has to carry the set of items from the shop when uh, they are returning from the uh, uh, shop to uh, home which is available in the remote location without exceeding the big shopper's capacity. That means they have to purchase the items in the shop and when they are arranging the items inside the big shopper bag, the, the total weight of this uh, items should not exceed the capacity of this big shopper. Here the exhaustive search leads to generate all uh, the subsets with given set of n number of items. Here compute the total weight of each subset uh, to identify the feasible solution of this subset uh, and find the subset of largest value among them. That means you have to get more uh, profit. So for example, you assume that is the discount. When you are purchasing the items, you should get more profit uh, and also the weights of that uh, selected item should not exceed the capacity of the bag. So here the number of subsets of n, uh, n elements set is uh, 2 power n. So the exhaustive search leads to generate 2 power n individual subsets from the given n number of items. Here the problem is formulated as the knapsack problem with the minimum capacity is uh, C and a uh, set S is consisting of n number of items. That means you are going to purchase n items. It may have uh, a subset. Okay, which are the items has to be purchased uh, uh, among the n number of items available in the uh, shop. Okay, so each item I has its own weight W I and its own discount value V I. Okay, so how to pack the bag to achieve maximum total value of packed items. So here we have to follow some criteria when the total weight of that uh, selected items should not be uh, should not be uh, greater than C that means capacity so it should be less than or equal to capacity of this bag if it is the this criteria then we can purchase that items otherwise if the total weight of that selected items is greater than C we cannot select that uh, item to purchase based on these two criteria we have to decide which item should be purchased and which item should not be purchased. Then uh, we can formulate the algorithm as n number of objects available in the store which weights are uh, given as W1, W2, etc. Wn for the n number of items and also discount value also given here uh, P1, P2, etc. Pn for the corresponding items 1 to n. Then the capacity of the uh, bag that means total weight, total weight, uh, total uh, weight is given here the value of this uh, profit 1 and xi, right? So here uh, we have to uh, uh, add this values of each and every items, right? Item number x1, x2, x3 like that and here the profit value. So maximum capacity of this uh, NAPSA can be calculated weight of the each product, weight of each product when the summation should not exceed the capacity. So this summation should be less than or equal to here given C, right? And when you are selecting the item, you cannot uh, split it. That means suppose my capacity is 6 kg, right? Here my bag capacity, suppose I'm, I, I want to purchase uh, 3.5 items, one item, 2.5 uh, items, one item. So we cannot uh, um, split that entire product into half kg, one kg. So you have to purchase uh, either that pro end full product or we should not purchase that product. Okay, so that is the thing. Either you have to select the 
entire pack suppose if you have the wheat pa wheat packet so you uh, here 1 kg packet you cannot split that into half kg packet right so that's what you have to select entire packet or you should not select that packet right so that is what mentioned here either not selecting at that packet or selecting that packet so that is called zero or one so zero in the sense here not selected that entire object one in the sense selected that entire object uh, that's what we given here here uh, the number of items are here i is one to n number of objects so based upon that we can solve the given problem uh, here the knapsack uh, is having the capacity of uh, 16 and the uh, weights are given here for the item number 1 2 5 10 uh, item 4 is 5 here value is also given here then we have to find out which combination give you a uh, best discount okay more discount value okay best combination which combination give you uh, more profit i mean more discount when you are selecting the items that is our aim so first we are starting with our bag is now as of now our bag is empty okay so this is my bag and my profit also now uh, zero right discount right so that's what total weight is zero and total of the profit value also zero then i am selecting the uh, product number one so when i'm selecting the product number one i got the weight is two and the value is 20 then only i am selecting the product number two the weight is five and the value is 30 then when i when i am selecting only the product number 3 in the bag then weight is 10 value is 50 that is given here only i am selecting the uh, product number 4 in the bag so this in this uh, subset we are getting the uh, weight is 5 and value is 10 suppose i am going to uh, purchase with combination item number one and two item number one and two when you are purchasing you look at here uh, two plus five so weight is here seven the value is here uh, 50 that's all right so this combination i am getting the profit is 50 with weight is seven which is less than uh are equal to capacity is 16 right and combination of one comma three i am getting the 12 right so this one and uh sorry uh this one and uh, this one 12 units of weight which is less than or equal to 16 then i got the uh, benefit is 70 so like that when i'm checking with the one comma four so one comma four is here uh two plus five seven units of weight which is less than or equal to 16 then which is giving you 30 right then combination of 2 comma 3 so here uh, 2 comma 3 is here 15 units of value which is also less than or equal to 16 then i am getting the uh, values 80 then combination of 2 comma 4 right when you are checking the 2 comma 4 this one and this one you are getting the 10 units of weight and profit is 40 then 3 comma 4 combination so here you look at that i didn't check 2 comma 1 because it's already this combination is checked here like that uh, here 2 comma uh, 4 is checked here so now 3 comma 1 3 comma 2 is not checked because this combination is already checked here 1 comma 3 and 2 comma 3 is checked in this combination so no need to uh, check again duplicate combination okay so when you are checking the 3 comma 4 you are getting the 15 this one and this one then value is 60 units like that so we are checking with three products combination 1 comma 2 comma 3 so you are getting the 17 which is not less than or equal to 16 so it is wrong so we cannot select this combination not feasible this subset is not feasible next subset is 1 comma 2 comma 4 so we are getting the 12 units the uh, um, solution profit is 60 so next combination subset 1 comma 3 comma 4 we are got 1 comma 3 comma 4 so we got uh, 17 units so this is again 
not feasible because our capacity of the knapsack is 16 so with this solution also not feasible then next combination is 2 comma 3 comma 4 here the weight is 20 which is also not less than or equal to 16 so which is also infeasible then i am selecting all the products weight is here 22 so when you are selecting the weight is 22 which is uh, not uh, satisfying the given criteria knapsack weight 16 so which is also infeasible so here among this then you can select the best feasible solution is 80 so combination of the products 2 and 3 this is the best solution finally uh, you got here with uh, the discount value profit is 80 uh, units so here you look at that for n items there is the possible combination is 2 power n so the time complexity will be big o of 2 power n thanks for watching